welcome dear students now we will do another problem related to virtual work so this is our problem uh, this is the mechanism and we have to determine the force p uh, which is required to maintain the equilibrium of the linkage shown okay and all members are of the same length and the wheels at A and B roll freely on the horizontal surface. Okay. <clears throat> so now let us solve the problem. So suppose this is YC. Uh, this is YC. Okay. Similarly, the this distance we can call y d and uh, this distance we can call y f and this distance we can call y g okay and we have uh, different forces applied now uh, we will do the solution so suppose uh, using yc as independent variable yc as independent variable okay so um, what we can do now from the figure you can see that uh, yd is equal to 2yc okay and yf it will be equal to 3yc and uh, because this is y and because all the mechanisms they have equal length so uh, this distance yd so this will be equal to yc plus yc means 2yc similarly again this distance again is equal to yc so yf uh, sorry y and yg we will have as 4yc so now if you want to calculate delta y so we have delta yd will be equal to 2 delta yc similarly delta yf will be equal to 3 delta yc and delta yg will be equal to 4 delta yc okay now uh, we can write the expression of uh, virtual work delta u so you know suppose if uh, this frame is say moving in the downward direction then you can say this we have uh, this force 1, 2, then we have 3, 4, and 5. 5 forces are there. So, total we will have 5 term. So, 400 into YC, delta YC, plus 100 into delta YD. And then we have minus p because p will is acting in the opposite direction so minus p into delta y f and uh, plus 75 into delta y g and uh, plus 150 into delta y h okay so now all these uh, terms we can write in terms of uh, y c so we will be having 400 delta yc and this should be equal to 0 okay so i forgot this plus 100 into 2 delta yc minus p 3 delta yc then plus 75 and this is 4 delta yc 
and then uh, plus 150 so delta h will be equal to delta yg which is 4yc so we can directly write into 4 delta c and this is equal to 0 so we can take delta yc common so since delta yc is not equal to 0 so all other terms will be equal to 0 and when we simplify this in terms of p then you will get p as 500 Newton and the answer is 5 so our uh, assumption is correct that P will act in the upward direction and P will be equal to 500 Newton so this is how you can calculate this type of problems have a nice day thanks for watching